In fact, a follow-up segment tonight, one of the worst atrocities of justice we have ever seen. 54-year-old former teacher Stacy Ramble convicted of statutory rape in Montana. He abused a 14-year-old girl named Sharice Morales who committed suicide after the case went public. Judge Todd Baugh sentenced Rambold to 30 days in jail, saying the 14-year-old was partially at fault. That has caused national outrage. Here now with an update, Judge Janine Pirro. So what is the state of Montana going to do? Are they still confused? All right. Well, first of all, this judge isn't very bright because what he tried to do after the public outcry was to say, I'm going to resentence the guy to the legally required mandatory minimum of two years. But the law in Montana is very clear. You can't just call a case back and reschedule a sentencing when you screwed up in the first place. So now the attorney general of Montana, the county attorney, also known as the DA, are appealing to the Montana Supreme Court for a another hearing so that he can be sentenced to the legal sentence. And that's going to years. take some time. Though, It'll right? take six to 18 months before that happens. All right. Bill. So, meantime, the guy walks out today. He's uh, running around Montana. He's a free man, right? He is so free. Right now, this guy is a sex offender. He will register today as a sex offender as soon as he comes out. Right. They'll give him some nonsense conditions. And remember, he never finished his sexual treatment program when the DA, before he was sentenced by this judge, said, Hey, judge, now we want a lot of years. He wouldn't even finish the program. Even though I, he was ordered by the court. Court to go into that this program, judge, yeah. he wouldn't do it, and Bao sentenced him to, uh, 30, to 30 days anyway. Yeah. And he had some priors, right? Uh, yes. In 2004, the schools had given him warning. Apparently, they, he, they said, you can't touch girls on their waist and their thighs anymore, or we're going to consider taking away your certificate. And then in 2008, he comes back. Now, Bill, I know enough about this. What do you mean he this. comes back? In other words, more complaints. All and right. that's so, what I'm So this guy has a sheet of, of you know, he wasn't convicted of a crime, but right. he has complaints. He doesn't do what the court told him to go to a sex offender cl clinic or counseling, mm -hmm. and he still gets 30 days by this judge. See, the judge is the guy who should be. Right. So now yeah. this guy's running around. This this uh, the sex offender. The sex offender's running around, and they don't have any any restrictions on where he can go. He could come here, right? He come to New York. He, he if can you want. go anywhere no, he, he wants. Want. Remember, okay. it depends on the treatment program, and the judge didn't impose additional guidelines as right. I would as a judge, saying you can't go. Near a school, you can't do this. You can't Nothing. do that. He can do what he no, wants. No, whatever they say to do, right. and, and then, then if we they have bring to wait back... for the Montana Supreme Court to decide right. whether there should be another hearing in the sentencing because they violated the state's guidelines. Or in 2014, there's another election. The question is, <sighs> he uh, says he's going to run. Possibly. He says he's going to run, Bill. Yeah. All right. Well, then I uh, will follow there. that every day. <laughs> we'll be out there. All right. Now.